Hi guys, and today I'm going to try my hand at Guild Ball, something a bit different from the uh, McMorning trip I've been going on in Malifaux. And some of my friends have expressed interest in this game, so I've picked myself up a little hunter team, and we're going to play some football. Not sure if I'll make videos for this a regular thing, as YouTube already has some really good battle reports uh, for Guild Ball, and I'm not sure how much my crappy photos or this style of report in general will, uh, will really add anything to the community, but we'll see how it goes. So I've picked my team, I've gone with the Captain Scatha, who's my only captain I have, and the mascot is Snow. Again, I, I basically just have the Winter's Moon box, or whatever it's called, with a few other models you can buy in the individual blisters. Uh, so next to Scatha we've got Chaska, who's pretty good, particularly when he can stand this gigantic piece of rough ground. Veteran Hearn, Cena the Bear, of course, and Minx. My opponent is going with Filet, I think, he, of the Butcher's team, who's here in the centre. The mascot um, looks like Princess. And we've got Boiler, Meat Hook, Harry the Hat, and Boar. My opponent run, won the roll off and chose to kick. And I'll mention that this is probably, I think this is my third game of Guild Ball. I didn't bother recording the first two, which were both losses against this same opponent, who is a top level player, and he's currently borrowing these models and just playing around with teams he doesn't normally play with. For plot cards, I've chosen Wingback, Superfan, and Who Are Ya? And it occurs to me a little bit uh, later that two of these cards are dependent on the enemy scoring a goal, and my enemy is Butchers. But Filet seems like a pretty good striker, so maybe they weren't too bad of choices. So Filet's going to make the kick. Uh, I've spread my faster models out on the flanks, just to make sure I can receive it wherever it goes. He makes the kick, and it's pretty damn good. So um, it's just up over the line, and Filet is in cover. For influence allocation, I have four on Scartha, one on Chaska, three on Hearn, two on the Bear, and one on Snow. It looks like Filet has six, Meat Hook has two, or oh, Boiler has two, Meat Hook has one, Harry has two, and Boar has one. Hunters are receiving, so Hearn goes first, he walks up, snaps the ball, and then I either pass it or kick it to Chaska. I can't remember if I was in range. Either way, I miss and it scatters, but it scatters through Chaska and he snaps it. Unfortunately, this leaves Hearn a sitting duck right in front of all the, the butchers. Would have been nice to dodge him back, but I didn't want to pass to the bear because that just would leave Filet to go in for an instant goal. And I figure the rough ground might protect me somewhat. Boiler goes and puts up his whatever that is. It's a swift stance, I think, on Filet. Snow goes and gives anatomical precision to the bear. Uh, I've moved him back here because I don't want him... I have, tr I have trouble activating Snow. He wants to go early, and then he wants to go up in kind of the middle, which really blocks charge lanes, and I find it a real problem, so I've just dinked him back over here to make sure I don't do that to myself. Princess has come out, uh, just a flank with Boiler. Chaska passes the ball to Scatha, and then walks up into the rough ground. Uh, lovely extra armour for his mud squatting ability, where it's called. I think I kept the momentum. Meat Hook goes and tools up Filet, and now she's a very scary, scary lady. So now we're just kind of jockeying activations. I don't want to go, well, I'd like to go in and try to kill something, but not while all the rest of his guys can activate. Um, and so the dog moves, uh, I think the other dog moves. Minx comes around, uh, positioning just outside of uh, Boiler's and um, Princess's uh, threat range, but inside her own and next to cover. The bear wanders forwards to be threatening next turn and also stays within cover. Um, Harry the Hat's come up and thrown Molotov, burning Hearn, and Boar has moved up, mirroring the bear and uh, threatening some uh, face-beating next turn. So Scatha goes as my last activation. There's no way I'm going to make a ball run up this way with Filet left to go and Boar here for the next turn. So my plan is to switch the play and move up this flank. Um, you know, these guys look pretty small and not scary. And then try to stonewall his heavies here. So Scatha goes, she puts down her ice somewhere where it won't help fillet, hopefully. Uh, next snowball passes to Chaska to dodge into it. 
then makes a sprint around here. And I want to try to make it so that Filet can't get to the ball, basically, by dodging through all my guys. So Filet goes and carves a bloody hole through my team, taking down veteran Hearn, and managing to cut Chaska, although his armour is protecting him quite a lot. 2-0 to the Butchers. Turn 2, my opponent has gathered lots of momentum, and so can choose to go first this turn. Hearn wanders back over the pitch over here, nice and safe, going to uh, help me go on my goal run over this way. Filet has 6 influence, Harry looks like he's got 4, 1 on ball, 1 on meat hook. Scath has got 6 by the looks of things, I'm feeling pretty optimistic there. Uh, Minx has 2, the bear has 2, Chaska's got 1. What I want to do here is for Chaska to nobly sacrifice himself, tying up as many butchers as possible whilst I position the rest of my team. And the way I read this is that either he goes with Filet and kills Chaska, but then um, that kind of blunts the, the maximum capacity of what he can achieve this turn um, with her, or he goes with someone else and Chaska has got a decent chance to survive and put up his armour. Harry goes crazy and charges in on Chaska, pushing him out of the rough ground. Dice rolling was pretty terrible here and armour too is pretty good, so Chaska actually gets off quite lightly. So Chaska goes, gives himself tough hide, and heals himself with my momentum. Walking back as far as he can into rough terrain, which will force Boar to have to spend the momentum to glide if he wants to get into engagement. I'm such a funny guy. So it looks like Filet goes, I may be wanting to try to get out of the way of the bear early. Uh, dodging around Chaska, you know, slashing at him. But oh my goodness, my opponent's dice are bad. And armor 3 just makes him an absolute beast. So yeah, he's still standing after a full stack of filet. At a boy, Chaska. Minx goes in on Boiler. She you know, wasn't too worried. No, there wasn't much influence de delegated over here. So she snares him, does a bit of damage. I was thinking to dodge over to the to Princess and snare her as well. But in the end, I just kept on going at Boiler. And then dodged away at the end of my um, activation. The idea here being to be within snapshot range of the goal and to draw his guys backwards away from the rest of the fighting if they want to go after her. Uh, I did debate going for the cover and I think I went with the chance to snapshot, uh, which with Minx is a terrible idea. I probably should have gone for cover. As the rest of the turn plays out, uh, Princess and Boiler move in to crowd out Minx and Meathook comes in and does more damage to her than I'd like. I move Snow to protect Chaska, to force Boar to knock him down when he goes in. He does, and <laughs> Chaska survives on uh, like one wound remaining, I think. It was hilarious. Oh my goodness, Armour 3 is amazing. I forget quite what I do here, but I'm using... Uh, I go with Scartha to put up the fast ground, Snowball, Hearn, forward, use... Um, I can't remember if I passed the actual ball to him as well to get him a little bit further up. I don't think I did. So yeah, but basically, snowballing Hearn up, using the fast ground to get him up even further. And I might have chucked a cold snap, but I don't know if it's achieved anything. And then finally the bear goes in on Harry the Hat, knocks him down and does quite a lot of damage. So we go into next turn. Turn 3. I honestly can't remember who won the initiative. Um... I would have thought the Butchers had more momentum than me by this point, but uh, I, I had four at the end, so that was a uh, fairly good. Uh, so, well, we've got, looks like only two on Filet, one on Boar, a s whole stack on Boiler, um, and two on Meat Hook, it looks like. I've got two on Minx, two on the Bear, three on Hearn, two on Scartha, and none on Snow and Chaska. I might have gotten the initiative and decided to go first and went with, well my first activation anyway was with Chaska just to put down a trap in the middle to really just annoy these guys. Possibly wasn't the best idea as Boiler just annihilates Minx and uh, I lose um, some influence over there where it would have been really handy to get some snares out. Something's killed Chaska, I'm not sure what it was and I look like I've gone with the bear, tried to kill Halle, Harry and failed. Wanted to try to get some use out of the bear before he gets crowded out and beaten to death. Hearn's gone in on Princess and Boiler and done a little bit of damage and maybe a knockdown, I can't remember. Princess comes around to get into, you know, crowding out Hearn and Scartha goes, we're just running around and maybe dodging off Princess and scoring the goal, making it 6 4 to the Butchers. Slowly creeping back. 
And looking at this, I wonder if the positioning of Princess here was actually to try to facilitate my goal and get the ball back in play so that he could uh, position to finish the game. Meat Hook goes in on Hearn, and Hearn is in big trouble. These three are really brutal in combination. I move Snow just up around here before Ball goes in, and Ball forgets to do his knockdown, um, in, I think probably in order to get his extra attack, and the bear just dinks itself out of his engagement by running towards Snow, and that was hilarious. Filet uses her movement to get herself over to the ball to get, to get ready for the end game next turn. We go into turn four, Minx and Chaska come back on, Chaska comes over here, Minx back over here, just to try to, uh, I, I don't know, I want to try to make a tackle on Filet, I'm forgetting that she's like uh, defence five or something, it's never going to happen. Butchers get the initiative, Boiler goes and obliterates Veteran Hearn, making the game, uh, the score eight, four, and then goes, to, you know, to hang around Scatha because she's a pretty, pretty lady. The bear goes for glory, getting a bear hug on Harry, bringing the game to 8-7. And Filet puts the, uh, the hunters out of their misery by gliding smoothly and elegantly across the rough ground and putting in the, looks like a uh, tap-in goal for the win there. 12-7 to the Butchers, really, really fun game, and oh my goodness, are oh, the Butchers scary. MVP to Chaska, oh my goodness, I love that armour in the rough ground. But I'm going to need to be careful not to think that this is going to happen all the time. My opponent's dice rolling was absolutely, absolutely terrible this game. And there is no way Chaska should have survived as long as he did. And I feel like my plan wasn't great in all. So, you know, I got very lucky that Chaska held things up so much over here. Um, you know, really my guys split up. Struggling the, the, to get the snare doubt that the bear needed. You know, Chaska's traps really helped, but it was uh, only one source, which generally isn't enough, it seems. And I really underestimated the threats of these guys on this flank. Yeah, I, I just got pulverised. Maybe I should have tried to outfight this uh, this part of his team with all of my team in the rough ground and just send Scartha around the side, so she'll, she'll probably get into the goal and then die, and maybe that's a trade worth taking, I don't know. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Give me advice, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, really fun game. Many thanks to my opponent, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>